Fuels have been at the center of climate negotiations for decades now. Now, despite this reality, many governments are still approving new coal, oil and gas projects, threatening the chances of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Nonetheless, stakeholders are beating the drums against the expansion of new coal, oil and gas projects, louder even as they push for seamless global transition away from fossil fuels. As the world prepares for COP29 later this year, momentum is building behind the fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty proposal. The extraction of coal, oil and gas drives almost 90% of carbon emissions in the last decade. And there's currently no global instrument to address this crisis. This treaty kind of offered an, offered an opportunity for us to start afresh bring in new thinking, bring in evidence-based uh, decision-making, bring in data-based de decision-making. And we saw that as an opportunity to bring in the various stakeholders, the multiple uh, diverse stakeholders into the room to get their views to start off. According to experts, Africa has to use the available resources and power to negotiate for a just transition away from coal, oil and gas. We have to go to COP and start changing the terms of engagement, engaging with the global north, based on climate debt and climate debt needs to be paid in three categories number one debt cancellation not restructuring and rescheduling number two grants not loans and economic entrapment and number three and most importantly transfer of life-saving technology to manufacture and deploy the renewables infrastructure that we need the clean cooking infrastructure that we need the clean public transportation that we need on this continent the proposed treaty would complement the paris agreement by providing the global roadmap needed to halt the expansion of fossil fuels it's not just a matter of uh, a theoretical statistical standpoint but it's actually about lives and livelihoods of innocent people that have done nothing whatsoever to get us and drive us to this so far a growing block of 13 countries are seeking a negotiating mandate for fossil fuel treaty the UK.